Jeffrey Rudis and Albert Shami are the CEO and president of L'Agence, a contemporary California women's wear brand that's part of a coalition of private sector champions who are leading in their own unique way in the COVID-19 response, reacting to the call for global solidarity and seeing the pandemic unfold in the United States, they put out a call to female health workers across the country. Send in your name, tell us where you work, and we'll send you a pair of jeans. So far, they've donated $1 million of denim. A pair of jeans is not in itself going to change a COVID response, but what L'Agence is doing is important as an act of generosity at a time when countries are competing for resources and as an acknowledgement that our health workers, in particular our women health workers, are the lifeline we're hanging on to at this unfamiliar moment. Tell us about this giving back campaign that you designed and put in place. We, you know, we started off by with the idea of making some masks and we made a few and, you know, to contribute to the hospitals here in Los Angeles. But at the end of the day, you know, our core product and the core expertise that we have is in denim jeans. And we want to show, you know, our, our sense of gratefulness for the women that are sitting in hospitals, that are on the front lines, contribute in their time and their effort and putting their health at risk. And what can we do on our end to basically tell them thank you? You should see the emails, thousands of emails that we've received of saying thank you. You know, thank you for thinking about us. Thank you for being there for us. We know it's a pair of jeans, but if it puts a smile on their face and makes them happy, that's what we're all about. Your brand creates incredible products in different fabrics, different textiles. And when we look at Jeff's background as the co-founder of this iconic brand, J Brand, before this, I suppose, was it destiny or was it always meant to be that it, that gift was going to be denim? You know, if you said that uh, Jeff and Albert, uh, if they were in a position to give something to an organization quickly, what might that be? You could say jeans. But it's not like we had anything planned. It was overwhelming because the response was huge. We received a few thousand right after we opened, like a few hours. And, you know, like, where is this all coming from? It went viral. We had to bring people back into our shipping area, of course, in, in accordance with social distancing and so on, to get all of these jeans out to people because we wanted to get them out right away. We didn't want this to be, well, when we reopen, we'll manage this. And so it was like immediate. We shipped it air freight. We got everybody their product right away. But also beyond that, we made sure that our marketing team, our PR team responded personally, dealing with every single one of them and saying, thank you for what you do. Thank you for sharing your story with us. They are in our mind, they are in our hearts, and we believe in them. The ambition at the start was already big. It was $500,000 worth of denim that you're going to gift. And then moving forward, the $500,000 suddenly became a million dollars. Lily and the marketing team said, you know, what do we do now? You know, we're gonna have some people that, you know, aren't going to share in this. And we just looked at each other and said, Lily, how many more names do you have? And she said, I'm like a few thousand over from what inquiries came in. And we said, just fill it, double it. Yeah. And that was as quick as we did it. Just by a wave of our hand said, double it. Do you think that the post COVID world, whenever that may be, will find a time when it can smile again, celebrate again? Absolutely. Absolutely. And, you know, I would say before 2022, we'll see some bit of normal market conditions and people will be back to purchasing. We feel OK about it. We have very good partnership with our factories. We work obviously in China and in mainland China and and actually outside of Hong Kong as well. And our partnerships you know, with them is very direct. You know, I'm personally on the phone with the owners of these factories on a weekly basis, especially during this crisis. And we're making sure that, first of all, their workers are safe. Obviously, the safety and the health of everyone is the most important thing. That comes first. But beyond that is setting ourselves up for the future because this crisis is going to end. What message do you have for 
not only the healthcare workers out there, but for everybody who's impacted and maybe watching this. For us, it is about giving back, which we call, you know, we have time right now. Anybody would be stingy not to say, well, I don't have time to contribute. So we have plenty of time and we want to make a difference. And you know what? It feels good. Selfishly, it feels good. The China Current continues its special coverage on the coronavirus outbreak. Go to our social media, at The China Current, and our website for interviews, videos, and podcasts. I'm James Chow. Thank you.